what it's all about, you guys. My new album, Viva La Rod, came out March 2nd last year. It's been a year. It's going to be a year. But, but I'm coming. Uh, you're welcome. I'm coming to France in April. I want you to check it out, MarcoMendoza.com. The info's right there, okay? Yes, sir. Good to meet you, Nono. Yeah. Enchanté. Merci beaucoup. Ça va, ça va, ça va bien. Ça va bien. très bien. Très bien, merci, merci. Beaucoup, merci. Beaucoup. Et magnifique. Uh, uh, when was the first time? I mean? 1935, ah, okay. before the war. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But seriously, I want to say 1989. Okay. So, so you're coming to, to Paris in April? Uh, I'm coming to France. I don't know if it's Paris. I'm going to announce the dates tomorrow. Cool. Right. January 28th, 29th. MarcoMendoza.com. There's like four dates in France. I'm really looking You're coming for your solo project? With my solo project, Marco Mendoza cool. Band, doing the Viva La Rock album and Live For Tomorrow. And some, some songs that I played with other bands that you guys all know, like Nugent, Thin Lizzy and all that. Cool. But this is the album again. Viva La Rock. Yeah, we'll put the link. Please. Show me, show me. And then this is the website. So I'm really, I'm really, really looking forward to coming to France because I've been there with everybody except my solo thing. So I've been there with White Sig, with Thin Lizzy, with Soul Circus, with Dolores O'Riordan, R.I.P. Rest in peace, my sister. I was just there with the Dead Daisies three or four times. I mean, I've been coming to France. It's a great relationship. I love the audience. Down there. I mean, I have a lot of friends. I'm very serious. Yeah, and so sure, I'm sure. really looking forward to bringing my own stuff and I think you're gonna like it. And right. what's the difference between the French audience and the American one, for example? You guys speak French. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. And I love the language. Oh yeah. But no. It makes uh, you horny or something? I'm sorry? Does it make you horny or something? France. French? French, yeah. French girls? I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. I'm a happily married guy, but I'm really into languages. And French, for some reason, has been one of the hardest ones for me to understand. I speak, hablo español. Okay. Hablo español. Si, 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 falo portugués, inglés, parlo italiano, pero francés. <laughs> it's really hard. And, and the German, for some yeah. reason. But I, I, once upon a time, I spent about a month in the south of France, Roca de Brun, ah, okay. by, by Nice, and right. okay. in, 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 uh, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo yeah. It was the best time. I was single, and we were doing music. I was there with my Latin jazz trio, okay. and uh, we played for a lot of great people down there. So I fell in love with, with France on a personal level. Cool. But it's just a beautiful country, man. I, I dig it. Everything about it. The history. True, the of culture, of course. the style, of the food, Crazy. the architecture, <laughs> the women, the boys, the, the fire, the passion. It's all there. Cool. And I, I know what I'm talking about. So being Latino, Mexican, yeah. Spanish, yeah. heritage, American, I really feel at home when I go. I love Spain. Yeah, I love Italy, it's Latin, 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 Portugal, and I love culture, France. Latin yeah. Culture, yeah. yeah, it's the same. same yeah, we have the same true, blood. True. We're the same true. blood. True. But Viva La Rock is the album. I'm coming to France. Go to yes. MarcoMendoza.com for all the info. And of course, with the Dead Daisies. Yes. One of the best bands ever. Burn It Down is the album. Check it out. And we will see you soon. Au revoir, à bientôt. Merci, Merci beaucoup. Merci Thank beaucoup. you so much. Là, je vais vous présenter une des toutes premières Gibson fabriquées à la main, Manuel par Orville Gibson en, 19, en 1800, pardon, 1800, pour être exact, 1898. Apparemment, euh, Orville Gibson, qui est né en 1856, qui est décédé en 1918, voilà, a fabriqué cette guitare en 1898. Bordel de merde Ça n'existait pas le rock à l'époque. Mais bien sûr que ça existait le rock and roll, Matt. Tu racontes n'importe quoi. Mozart, c'était le premier rocker du monde. Et en Ertal aussi, il était rock'n'roll, je veux dire, il se mettait des coups de bâton sur la gueule. Allez, viens, amène ta couenne. On est chez Gibson, là. Il y a de belles choses, hein. Regardez ça. Comme c'est beau, ça. C'est le 125e anniversaire, quand même, de, de Gibson. Et donc, euh, en fait, cette année, il présente toutes les, tous les nouveaux modèles. Et, euh, 
Les luthiers sont là. Ils s'occupent de, de, du nacrage, tout ce qui est nacre. Hi, how's it going? It's going great. How are you? Yeah, lovely. Thanks. Could you explain uh, what you're doing exactly here? This is what I carved this in Nashville before I came because I, I knew I wasn't going to get anything done. But that, I'm going to make the rest of this thing look just like this. <laughs> so, so you're actually carving the wood? Just with, just with hand chisels. I don't use any electric stuff at all. It's all hand chisels. And so do you like work for the custom shop or? Custom shop artist, yes sir. Yeah. And uh, what's the percentage of uh, amount of guitars that are issued from the custom shop with this engraving? No, not not that many. I like it'll take me a month just to do this one. So I I wouldn't get that many done a day, but or I mean a, a year, but I might do 10 or 12 if I get lucky this year. <laughs> It depends on the design. It's real slow. I mean, they don't they don't push me for speed. They want them done right, and I'm the only guy doing it, so I got. <laughs> so uh, even though Gibson's a massive, great big brand, uh, they don't pressurize to absolutely, you know, on the quantity. They still uh, accent uh, uh, em emphasize the the quality. Absolutely, I am I am under no pressure. They don't they they have been so good to me. They don't tell me what, this is my design. I came up with it, I drew it out, I'll carve it. Nobody's even asked me what I'm carving. They, they let me do it. They don't do this at, at USA, but uh, I, people don't believe me when I tell them, but they, they don't push me to do, they let me take my time. They want it done right. And what's amazing is that it's your designs. Absolutely, I mean, if you, if you said, oh, no, no, I you mean, got with the custom shop and you yeah. had something you wanted, I'd definitely work with you and we'd come up with something, okay. you know. C'est magnifique. In marvelous. French, marvelous. It's marvelous. Oh, thank you. Magnifique. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. Very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you guys. Take care. Okay. Hello, Jan. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I think I think we know each other. Yes, for a long time. <laughs> for a long time, yeah. Maybe more more than 30 years, I think. No. Yes. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, is it how, how many times you can you come in, uh, in the Nam? How many times have I come to Nam? Yeah. Um, well, since when? Wow, my first one was probably in the 80s. In the 80s? Uh, yeah, at some point, maybe the late 80s or something. But this is my first one in a long time. I don't think I've been here in five, maybe four or five years. Okay, and your kid? His first one. His first one. Yes. How do you think it is for Nam? It's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. One question for Matt and then yeah. it's done. Yeah, sure. well, uh, I can remember we met on the road with uh, Trust and we shared the, uh, you shared the stage together. Yeah, we France. played the festival in France what, yes. two summers ago. I can't yeah. remember now. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah what, what experience was that for you? It was amazing just because we hadn't done it in so long too. Yeah. So, and the fact we're all here still playing. And uh, and we're all still really good. <laughs> we we can all still do it, and that's that's the best part about it. Yeah, I can remember you were saying that you're uh, you're playing the riff in a different kind of way. You're, uh... Yeah, well, uh, no, well, not similar and different. I play like a caveman, so you know his pl his playing is much more fluid, and I just kind of hammer at it, but it works. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Scott. Yo, Andy! Yo, Andy, so slow! Andy, how's it going? It's going good. I'm Matt, I'm from Paris, France. Hello, Paris, France. First, the first time in, uh, at the NAMM show. Oh, first time? Um, yeah. Wow. I imagine it's your... I, well, I'm bad with Matt, but I've been coming since 1986. Wow. So that's a few years, folks. Welcome to them. Enjoy. It gets a little tiring after a while. It's kind of noisy, but but enjoy. It's such a great spirit, great people, brotherhood. You know, they say meet everybody. Music brings That's us good together. That's good vibe. Good vibe. Music brings us together, man. We need we need that more than ever. So what are you doing uh, at the moment? At the moment, I've just been hanging out with my friends at Ibanez. I had a few interviews today because I have a new signature guitar that just got released called the ATZ 100. And then I uh, have a concert tomorrow night. It's Paul Gilbert, Andy Timmons band, uh, Andy Wood, Mark Letiria, and Neely Brosh are playing at the M3 Live. And uh, so it's fun. You get to hang and see lots of friends from all over the world and play a couple shows. Thank you very much, Andy. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.